Good morning. Puntay dun sa makalat na kama. <laughs> so, today's my free day. I'm done with all the work. I'm going to explore Mexico City for the last time as I have not visited Zocalo last week. I'm making sure that I'm not missing this chance to see that area because I'll never know when I will be back in Mexico. So I'm taking advantage of this trip and I want to see all the nice places there. All right. <music> Oh, at the this back one. of that? Okay. This one, up the left. Ah, okay, this one. So you can go and watch it. You can, okay. you can go inside, it's free. Okay. And there's a lot of stuff to do here uh, around the Zocalo. So you can go for a walk okay. and it's, uh, it's safe. Okay, well thank you very much. Here's... Let me see. It's 90. Okay. okay, do you have change? No. no? I'm here now at Zocalo. It's so huge. It's a big square. There's the famous big flag. I'll take a photo there. And also the famous cathedral. Oh, when things are out of reach, you bring them back to me. Back to me. We gonna live forever, forever. The afterlife. We gonna visiting the cathedral it's so huge it's very nice and beautiful and intricate especially the designs at the altar that was very interesting now I don't know where I'm going I have to check my itinerary it's so hard to do solo traveling <laughs> no one is taking photo of you I'm now going to Templo Mayor. They said just go straight here. Let's see if I can find it. Look at that, that's Templo Mayor. National Museum now. I just passed by it and I wasn't planning to get here but since I saw it and it's already in front of me why not explore it. It's a nice museum. Just not a museum person but I'm trying to appreciate. Look at that. We are young. We are floating like the sun. We are golden. We are floating like the sun. 
Lucas who's doing museum tour in Mexico. <laughs> Me. Why not? Look at that. Look. Who are you? Poseidon. Oh wow. Oh, tiring na niya ako. He looked at me. I got scared. It's a walking area, it's nice, it's alive, it's a lot of people, but I don't know how to do So, I'm having lunch na. and then probably I'll go back to the other because I don't think I'm going to get the patch of the sugar. So, I'm going to city and I'm just looking at a fraction of it so we'll see if they will come yeah this is the last afternoon here in Mexico City and yeah I'm just gonna chill while hubby is on his way already to Turkey uh, it's gonna be a 13 hour flight for him oh, I don't know if 13 hours but I know it's going to be a long flight anyways um, this rooftop bar is located on the 38th floor so for you to get here from the ground floor you need to go to the lobby which is on the 14th floor something similar to Sofidel in Bangkok their lobby is not on the ground floor and then from the 14th floor you would see a signage directing you to where this rooftop bar and then you have to take another elevator which is on the 38th floor I didn't have any reservation so I think if there are seats available you can come here I came here around five o'clock so it's not a full but maybe later we'll see if it's gonna be packed I'm sure let's see how's the, how's the social life here in Mexico City 
This is so cool. So those are the flowers that bloom this month, and that is the Starbucks area where I was hanging out and going to eat, and that's where we stay the first few days here in Mexico City. It's amazing. I can see it from on top. And there's the the Angel de la Independencia. That's where I job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hola, buenas noches. I'm back to my hotel room. I'm done doing some work with a with a with a panoramic view <laughs> that was a that was a good experience i'm glad i did that because i was torn between let me just do everything here in the hotel room or do it outside and continue to experience the city and i'm glad i made that choice i had a good time no one followed i think everyone was was tired but it's okay i was able to finish what i need to do so now i'm gonna start packing i just finished checking online for my flight with copa airlines tomorrow i'll be flying from mexico city to panama city first that's going to be around three hours and 40 minutes maybe three hours and 30 minutes and then i only have uh almost two hours uh of layover in panama city i will be able to see panama but only at the airport <laughs> but it's still and then after the layover, I'll be flying from Panama City to Medellin. It's it's spelled Medellin, but it's pronounced Medellin. Um, so it's it's going to be just an hour because Panama City and Colombia are close. So it's going to be um, the start of my South America adventure tomorrow and i'm going to see hubby there we only have an hour difference from our arrival i'll be arriving first and then i'm just gonna wait for him i'm gonna try to figure out where to buy sim card and all those stuff and i'm just gonna wait for him in the arrival area hopefully it will be smooth for both of us i'm sure there will be questions like like the usual but we're ready with our with, with any questions because uh, we got all the documents ready. Um, the only thing that was last minute was the immigration check-in online form, which I didn't know that it is required. So I'm glad that Copa Airlines sent a reminder and I saw that there is one that they're requiring. So I had to do quickly for hubby and I had to send it while he's about to take off. That was, that was mad rush, um, but I'm glad that it's all okay. I hope I did it right for both of us, and I hope that there's not going to be any problem for both of us. It's going to be a challenge because um, we don't know how we are going to connect with one another. We don't know if there's a Wi-Fi at the airport. So if there's any problem, we will never know. Um, although we both uh, activated our roaming, but here I tried to use it. Uh, I just can't use it what? so we'll see i'm crossing my fingers i hope the beginning and the start of our adventure will be as smooth as we want it to be all right so after i pack i just bought a dinner from shake shack i just bought a burger and because i know that i'm just gonna be staying in the room until later because i need to sleep early because i have to wake up early tomorrow i know that i'm just gonna pack and continue continue to do some work and clear some stuff overall i had the best time in mexico it was a great starting point for for this adventure starting from north america to south america and i will never forget mexico aside from my overwhelming experience in fbli or the food bank leadership institute I was given that opportunity also my trip to cancun was very very memorable you know what happened to my knee which i'm still suffering and yeah this this wound this this mark will always remind me of my mexico trip 
<laughs> and that makes it memorable you know you have some interesting stories to tell about the places that you're going to so the food in mexico i have not explored because as you know i'm not a foodie um it's not on my bucket list but i was able to try a few mexican dishes like of course the tacos but i did not get obsessed i want to try the quesadillas or the burritos but it's what i always eat whenever i'm in bangkok when i want some mexican food so um, so yeah in terms of food uh, it was just okay in terms of weather i loved it although yesterday and today in the middle of the more uh, in the middle of the day it started to become hot i thought it's all day it's all year round but i realized it was medellin, medellin not mexico city it's just that it's a perfect weather during march but it gets hot here so i had a wrong understanding i also noticed that mexicans love their starbucks if in thailand you would see 7-elevens everywhere here in mexico city there's a lot of starbucks <laughs> love their coffees and in fairness the food in the food that you can see in starbucks are, are pretty good and that's why you've seen that i've always been in starbucks also the people are are nice the people culture the city the city is alive like what i said it's it's not something it didn't give me that feeling of, oh, I want to stay here. I want to live here. I want to work here. I didn't get that. It's a city that I would love to visit again if I'm given a chance. But it's not that, it's not a city that I'm going to pursue visiting if, if I have, if I have the chance. But I had a great time. Like what I said, I will never forget my Mexico trip. All my bags are packed. And I'm ready to go. I'm here at the airport again. I'm here in Turkey right now. Istanbul Airport. So, tama lang din pala na bumaba na ako kasi ang board na pala. Welcome to Panama. I just arrived here in Medellin. So, I'm here at Dunkin' Donuts. It's just in front of the domestic arrival. This is where I'm gonna wait, Happy. I think I saw him. Uh... Welcome to Colombia. Yeah. 